this video covers the gas or hydrogen gas production by photocatalytic and photoelectrocatalytic water splitting method. This comes under green chemistry or engineering chemistry module 4. So first of all I will take uh, how we can generate hydrogen gas by water splitting uh, by photocatalytic method. The green fuel uh, particularly it involves the production of hydrogen and use of that hydrogen for uh, in order to get the heat. The one method to get a hydrogen gas is by photocatalytic water splitting method. The other one is a photoelectrocatalytic method that is more similar to photoelectrochemical method. And third one is by thermodynamic So under green chemistry, uh, we concentrate only photocatalytic or photoelectrocatalytic method. In photoelectrocatalytic water splitting, it is an artificial photosynthesis. It is an artificial photosynthesis. Like a photosynthesis process. The photocatalytic process that splits water molecule into hydrogen gas and the oxygen in the presence of a catalyst and natural light. That is in the presence of catalyst and solar energy. The natural light is nothing but a solar energy. In photocatalytic water splitting reaction, uh, mainly the photocatalyst to play a vital role. Normally, titanium dioxide, titania, has been widely used as a photocatalyst for photocatalytic water splitting. Now, I consider how we carry this photocatalytic water splitting process. The photocatalytic water uh, splitting process uh, consists of three important steps if involved in semiconductor photocatalysis process. See, when a light uh, particles or photon, they hit on the semiconductor component, the semiconductor photocatalyst material that absorbs these photons of light having energy which is greater than its band gap. The energy of the photon should be more than the energy of the band gap of the uh, photocatalyst. Say, example, titanium. See, when a photon of light the hits on this material, this semiconductor absorb photon and utilized to excite an electron from the valence band to the conduction, semiconductor of the conduction band. See, when it hit on the photons, uh, photons hit on the semiconductor, say here the electrons that photons absorbs, uh, that photon is absorbed by the electrons and that electrons they move from valence band to the conduction band. So from here to here they move from valence band to the, here VB is valence band, here uh, CB is a conduction band. They may move from valence band to the conduction band of semiconductor to the uh, and generating resulting the creation of uh, holes in the valence bond and the uh, valence band and the electrons uh, in the conduction band. That means in the first step when a photon hits on the semiconductor material the photons uh, are absorbed by the electrons of the semiconductor materials and that by creating or generating electron hole pass. Say the formation of electrons, you can observe electron and hole pairs. pairs. And when electrons and hole pairs are formed, the separation and migration of these photogenerated electron hole pairs to the surface where the redox reaction that takes place. See, holes all are going to the one type of co-catalyst surface recombination takes place and here again the electrons move into the another side. So holes and electrons, the migration, separation and migration uh, of the photogenerated electron hole pair to the surface where the redox reaction occurs. See electron hole, electrons here, uh, electrons and holes, they are captured by the reaction site. See, 
here all holes are migrated towards this side and this is a co-catalyst captured by the co-catalyst h plus is nothing but a holes is captured by the co-catalyst and the water droplets or the water particle uh, the oxidation of this water into a uh, oxygen and h plus ions are created see here oxidation reaction takes place as a result the water molecules split into oxygen and h plus are for occurs at the photo anode by photo holes and at the cathode the photo generated electrons see here then the h plus ion this slowly migrate towards this side and the h plus ion at the photo uh, here it is a photo cathode so at the photo cathode here uh, at cathode the photo generated electrons reduces h plus ion to h2 that is here reduction reaction takes place so this side will considered as a cathode and this side an anode reaction that takes place so electrons and hole pairs are captured by the reaction site on reduction and oxidation co-catalyst here it is a oxidation uh, this one is a oxidation co-catalyst and this one is a reduction co-catalyst. The oxidation of water into oxygen and H plus ion occur at the photo anode by photo holes and at cathode the photo generated electrons reduces H plus into hydrogen. So we can see the reaction here you can observe hydrogen water molecule in the conduction band help with the sorry water molecule in the valence band with the help of hole uh, evolves oxygen and the electrons with the help of electron hydrogen get reduced to uh, hydrogen gas. So the possible redox reaction we can observe when photon, when a H mu, H mu is nothing but a photon, light energy hit on the semiconductor, there is a creation of electrons and holes. See, these holes uh, are on uh, help for the oxidation of water molecules into two moles of proton and half moles of oxygen. Then these uh, undergo reduction uh, at cathode two moles of uh, proton that takes two moles of electron and liberates uh, hydrogen gas. Yes. So overall reaction is water molecules uh, uh, split into hydrogen and oxygen. So the same things we happen here. Uh, we can see this one. There is a production of first step hydro uh, proton, sorry, uh, proton uh, holes and electrons are produces. The water molecules they migrate with the help of hole. hole. Uh, they form uh, H plus ion and the evolution of oxygen takes place say it is a one mole so evolution of oxygen takes place at the anode at the cathode reaction so here uh, at cathode here the h plus ion that takes electron generated during the formation uh, by the uh, help of uh, this excited uh, molecules to producing hydrogen gas evolution of hydrogen takes place that is the water molecules takes photon energy for split into hydrogen and oxygen. I am not balancing the equation hydrogen and oxygen. This actual reaction is observed in, during the photocatalytic uh, water splitting. Here, in general, the efficiency of the catalyst can be enhanced by including dopants, what we call it as a co-catalyst that includes metal or metal oxides such as a platinum, nickel oxide, uh, etc., which can act as active sites, which help for the easy redox reaction and enhancing electron mobility. The photocatalyst like uh, titanium oxide or a zinc oxide, if you use, the band gap is 1.23 electron volt or else the electron will not have enough energy to start the reaction. In practice, this limit or in practically, if you observe 1.23 energy is not sufficient. So we have to in observe 1.6 electron or 1.8 electron volt due to some over potential. This is about how the photocatalytic uh, water splitting that takes place. Now, let us discuss about photo electrocatalytic water splitting.
This uh, method was first discovered by Honda due in 1972, wherein they achieved water splitting utilizing single crystal of titanium dioxide. If you go through a simplified photoelectrolytic cell, electrocatalytic cell. So here electrocatalytic cell means we are applying some electric current model, employing photo anode where N type semiconductor electrodes are used, which generates oxygen, and a photocathode is used, which is normally a P type semiconductor. That means anode is made up of n-type semiconductor called it as a photo anode which can able to absorb a photon of light energy and p-type semiconductor usually taken as a photo cathode. Then it consists of a membrane usually a proton exchange membrane is present a formed proton that can exchange pass through the membrane and an electrolyte solution. So these are the setup we observed in the Photo uh, electro uh, catalytic cell. See anode, cathode, photo anode, photo cathode, and a membrane. When a sunlight stick or uh, they fall on the uh, photo anode, this photo anode can able to generate the electrons present in the photo anode. They excite it to the higher energy level as a result, generating electrons and holes. See, the concept is based on the photosynthetic cell. There are four main steps in order to split a water and in the production of hydrogen from solar energy. The first step is a generation of electrons or a hole or the first step is the generation of charge, positive and negative charge. The positive charge is a hole and the negative charge is an electron at the semiconductor photo anode surface from photo excitation that resulting in the yield of holes and electron. Then the oxidation of water molecules by photo generated photo generated holes at photo anode surface to generate molecules of oxygen. Here the water molecules are taken. The oxidation of this water molecule takes place. A oxidation of water molecule takes place with the help of holes resulting in the uh, uh, generating oxygen molecule that is uh, water molecules with the help of holes okay it generate H plus ion and the evolution of oxygen is observed this type of reaction is observed H and and then subsequently as soon as H plus ion is produced they migrate towards cathode that is protons. Photon is different from proton. Proton is formed during the oxidation of cathode. See, when a, a, a cathode undergo oxidation with the help of holes. See, that is water molecule with the help of H plus, small letter H, giving rise to a H plus, that is a proton, plus oxygen evolution is observed. And this formed proton, they migrate towards the cathode surface. That is, protons are transported from photoanode to the cathode through electrolytes, where H plus ion at cathode surface will reduce uh, electrons by electrons yielding hydrogen gas. Yes, this H plus ion takes electrons. The normal electron is migrated towards through the external circuit, so and generating hydrogen gas. Yes, that is, electrons created in photoanode they move towards cathode through external circuit. Reduce the proton found at the surface of the electrode completing the uh, electrical circuit. So that at the cathode what we observed is this H plus ion takes electron and liberates hydrogen gas. That is from valence band to electron uh, they migrated to conduction band. The reduction takes place at conduction uh, whereas oxidation is observed at valence band. See, light absorption and generation of electron hole pair at the anode. It is the first step. Normally, n-type semiconductor takes photons. It takes photons and generates uh, electrons and holes. At photo anode, water molecules uh, takes in the presence of a uh, proton. This is not proton. This is proton. Generate proton. Uh, it generates proton and liberates oxygen. Here, it is a photon. 
so photon interact with water forming proton and oxygen at cathode the proton migrated towards the cathode through uh, membrane through proton exchange membrane and takes electron and evolve hydrogen gas so the overall reaction is water split into oxygen and hydrogen and this produced hydrogen can be used as the fuel in hydrogen fuel cell okay this is about how we carry the photocatalytic method and photoelectrocatalytic method of water splitting for the production of hydrogen gas which can be used as a fuel for the hydrogen fuel cell that i'll discuss in the next uh, video thank you